first episode of a brand new spring series of Garden Rambles. Now something that's happening around the country is people are really getting their gardens into prime condition because over the spring garden trails and garden festivals happen all over the country. Here in Taranaki we are lucky enough to have one of the longest running garden festivals in New Zealand. 30 years, the Rhododendron Festival, now the Pauco Taranaki Garden Spectacular has been running and showcasing beautiful gardens to the world. So we're at the nice hotel in New Plymouth and we're going to meet up with two ladies that are a very important part of the launch of this year's Taranaki Garden Spectacular. Hi there, Suzanne. Lovely to see you there. Hi, how's yeah, it going? Going damn well, actually. What a beautiful little spot that you um, picked out for us to um, sit and have a chat. Oh yes, yeah. Terry's always good at providing oh. the spaces. Yes, yeah. yes. No, we we filmed here well, a few months ago and and got the real lowdown from Terry on this uh, lovely little setup in his garden. But tonight you are going to be leading the the push into the 30th, well, what was the Rhododendron Festival, mm. right up to the um, to, to the modern day. What's the feeling on, on that? And oh, I think it's a big celebration for any festival to get to 30 years, yeah. um, and particularly a festival in the regions in New Zealand to survive that long. It would be one of the longest running festivals, I think, probably in New Zealand. Um, so we're very proud of that, and we haven't always been involved, of course, but no. um, TAF took over the Garden Festival in about 2003, and um, we like to think it's gone from strength to strength since um, TAF put, brought, brought it into its suite of events and festivals, so yeah, we're very pleased. Well, you've certainly one of the highlights for me has been watching the festival and some of the personalities that you've brought in to be part of that celebration of the festivals. You know, I think of David Bellamy, I think, you know, and this year, of course, you got that well-known lovely lady of um, New Zealand television, Asta, to, to come along and do the launch tonight. Yeah, I think we always try and make the launches something a little bit special. And, um, you know, it's, it, it's good to have someone else come in and talking about the festival rather than us talking about what we do. And um, so that formula works very well, bringing in a, you know, a guest speaker to, to launch it. And mm. it sort of puts a mark that we're all ready to go and you know, um, the festival's underway. So yeah, we're really pleased to have Esther. We've had Esther before, we're pleased to have her back. Yeah, so it's lovely. Well, we're going to catch up with her a little bit later. But you yourself, your position, you, 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 you've got what some would consider the dream job. You know, you're, dealing with stars all around the world, with Glomad, with the, the, the actual arts festival, mm. which is also coming up at yes. a rate of knots. Yes. Um, yeah, it is a very, uh, it, it's only a handful of these jobs in New Zealand, and I'm lucky I've got the one provincial um, yeah. job. Uh, the rest of the jobs in the, the, of a similar to mine are, are in the main centres, so I am really lucky to be able to do it living in a beautiful place like Taranaki. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of hard work, um, but we, you know, it's a very celebratory job because you do a lot of hard work and you see a great outcome for your work. So um, it is something that I've now been doing for 10 years. It would be a very hard job to let go of um, and move on from because it is such a fantastic job and fantastic team that I work with. Mm. Now, when does planning for an event such as well, look at the Arts Festival, yep. start for you. The Arts Festival is an interesting one for us because that's our only biannual festival now. And um, there is a bit of a, uh, it's sort of maybe for the six months after we deliver the festival, we go a bit, a bit quiet again. But really it starts, it starts a good 18 months out from the festival with the Arts Festival. It was a long lead in with the Arts Festival. We're working with Christchurch Festival to secure like a big act like Velvet that we're bringing in this right, time. Yes. Um, we have to put together a tour for them because they're not going to come in and just do us and Christchurch Arts Festival. So we've worked with Auckland on that one. So there's a lot of work in 
um, putting together tours, um, trying to view uh, the quality of work. We try not to program anything someone within the team hasn't seen, um, and particularly for our big show. Um, right, yeah. So yeah, it's a, it's a long lead-in time on the Arts Festival. WOMAD literally, we never stop. We finish one WOMAD and we just go straight into the next mm -hmm. one. And then the Garden Festival, you know, you say you inherited it, but you know, you took over at a time of not really turmoil, but um, yeah, I think quite a dysfunctional type of approach to the organisation, wasn't it? I think what had happened, it had been, it had a really stellar long um, term, I guess, under a number of um, charitable sort of organisations yes. running it. But often when uh, events and festivals are run by um, volunteer organisations, they often will run out of steam, things get a bit tired, because you're expecting people to do a lot of work that there isn't a recompense for. Yes, yes. So I think it was very timely, you know, and it had been going its visitor numbers had been dropping. It had been very much a festival based on the region, for the region. And what TAP was able to do was put some robustness around there with a full-time office and a, and a four day a week um, staff member, and that's what we have till this day on this festival, who um, can actually do a lot of the donkey work, a lot of the background organising, all of that. So, and we've shifted it very strongly to a very out of the region visitation to this festival, which is very good economically for Taranaki. And, and the other thing that strikes me with, with the various festivals, you ha seem to have an amazing relationships with the parks and reserves departments, other, other centres, you get almost seems to be some pressure sort of link, uh, non-links between so the art people and, you know, is, yeah. how hard is that to be, keep working? Um, it's, it's a relationship based on mutual respect. And, um, you, you know, we understand that it's first and foremostly a park. And, of course, the biggest impact we have is WOMAD yeah. on a beautiful, beautiful park. And part of the success of WOMAD is the venue that it's delivered in and the TSB Bowl of Brooklands and Brooklands Park. So, um, and we're very respectful of that. We often, it costs us a lot of money to reinstate. If we have a bad year, wet run in, we're re turfing, we're re sowing. Um, we don't physically do it ourselves, <laughs> no, but we, yes. we pay the money. So that's just not, that's just not negotiable with yep. us. Uh, and we always have in our budgets a reinstatement budget. And we hope we don't have to use it. Yes. Um, but yeah, so, um, and then, but parks also understand that we actually bring a lot of people into their venues and having a park that no one goes to is not good for anybody. No, exactly. Um, so it's a mutually beneficial relationship, it's quite symbiotic. symbiotic. And um, But yeah, um, we're as horrified if there's any damage done to the park as the park's people themselves. So we live and breathe that park as well. And we've done a number of installations up there with the Garden Festival and had the park used in unusual ways over the years. So, um, yeah, it's it's very much an ethos coming from the New Plymouth District Council that parks are for people, and anything that gets people into the parks is a good thing. That's yeah. now, and that's the lovely thing, isn't it? Yeah, you know, parks are for, are for people. Yeah. people are their parks. So, launch tonight, bit of um, fanfare and everything. So, wish you well and. Uh, what dates are the actual festival, Garden oh, Festival? That's a good point. Here we go. The 27th of October to the 5th of November. Yes. I knew there was a reason yeah. I bought that. Yeah. And you can get one of these from just looking up the website and... Um, or ringing into the office. And we're quite happy to mail those out to anybody all over yeah. New Zealand. And yeah. there's a website, of course, which we'll put up. So the Power of Taranaki Garden Spectacular. And this lady is the big boss. And she does a fantastic job. Thank you.